Well, thank you for joining me here for our discussion about Sunmark School's brilliant internship program. I'm joined here today by Kevin Joseph, who's going to talk us through his two internships and the experiences that he had. Kevin, thanks very much for joining me. Um, brilliant that you had two internship programs. What was it that, that motivated you to engage in the internship program itself? So it was so good you did it twice. Yeah. Uh, so um, what, what is it about an internship that you think is valuable? The experience of, say, wanting to work something for the rest of your life and knowing what it's like firsthand makes it like engaging. And it really shows you that if you're going to do this for the rest of your life, if you're going to enjoy it, or if it's not something you really want to do. So being able to expand through the medical side and also the pharmaceutical side really helped me to make a decision in what I wanted to do in the future. That's really brilliant. And I think it's, it's great for students to hear the level of analysis that you've got and the logic that you have behind that, that uh, even though there was a particular field that you were interested in, you decided that actually you wanted to look at two different aspects of that. Is, is that what informed your decision to, to go to a hospital and also to a pharmaceutical company? Yeah, because my parents were pushing me to maybe try something else since medicine is a long program. Yes, and expensive. Very, I mean, you know, parents always want, want their children to think hard about that. Yeah. So they were telling me to maybe look at all the options to make sure what I'm doing is what I really want to do for the rest of my life. Yeah. And not something that I might regret in the future. So being able to do both really made me like know what I want to do, not just for the fun of it, but also knowing what it's like to work there. Yeah. For a long time. Well, that's great. And we'll, uh, we won't reveal it yet. We'll find out as the story unfolds, as I see some questions, what your thoughts were. But uh, how long did the internships last? They were around 40 hours each, split up into five days. Some of them were longer days, eight hours. Some of them were shorter, five yeah. hour days. And did you have engagement with the companies beforehand or did you just go in cold on day one? No, no, it was all cold. I didn't have any okay. information, went in like, that's I'm quite really, a thing, isn't it? Did that sort of have your heart beating and thinking, how's this going to yeah, be? Yeah, it's like getting a job for the first time. Yeah. You don't know what it's like, what it's going to be like, what you're going to yeah. do. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. So just, just describe it to me. Just choose one of, the, uh, one of the internships and just describe it to me. What was, what was the space like so that I can see it and imagine you there? So I'll give you the more intense one. The hospital was emergency room. You never know, all of a sudden an ambulance could come in one time, wow. it could be someone with a fever. It was all very quick, no time, no sitting down, it's work, work, work. Yeah, Dr. Kevin, right to it. That's yeah. really exciting. And, and how, how did the people on the internships treat you? Did you, did you feel as though, uh, you know, in some way you were a spare part? Or how did they make you feel part of the team, what they were trying to achieve? So in both times, they were really respectful. They treated me like a family. Oh, great. In the hospital, they would buy breakfast for the entire staff at times. Wow. Same thing at Takeda Pharmaceuticals. They were really like trying to make it so it's a team of people who are all yeah. trusted and feel welcomed. That's a great message anyway, isn't it? Just to pick up when you're, when you're thinking about what work is like, to discover that here's a place where people are working hard to try and not only make you feel welcome, but to make you feel welcome together with the rest of the team. That's, that's a great experience to have had. Mm -hmm. so, um, so once we imagine you're there on an internship program, someone's got to try and create a, a microcosm of their working life. You know, maybe they've been doing the job for five years and seen many things, but you're going to be there for 40 hours and they've got to try and give you a taste or a flavor of what it's like to be there. How did they achieve that? It was different each time because they'd show you different branches, say, of the hospital or the pharmaceutical company. So they would make sure that you understand all the aspects around and how, say, in medicine, it's not just I have a patient, I have to help him, but also I need to check if whatever happens, say, the ambulance is fine, how it happened. It's a lot more than just doing, doing, doing work. It's also a lot about thinking about how you're going to do your work. Oh, great. Tell me a little bit more about that. So what, what did you, as you were experiencing watching people doing that and the realization was dawning on you that, mm -hmm. oh, this, there are many layers to this onion that we're sort of peeling back. Um, what were the emotions that were going on inside you as you realized there's more to this than I thought? I was surprised and almost overwhelmed because I thought being a doctor meant 
I just treat patients. There is so much more, and I was it was like a surprise to me. I didn't expect yeah. it initially. Yeah. Was there a sense of pride? Did you feel in in the people that were around you that as as your eyes widened slightly as you saw what they were doing, did you get that sense that they also enjoyed having an intern there to? give you an insight into uh, their life, but also there's a sense of pride for them because, yeah, this is what I do, this is my job, and I'm, I'm showing this young man that. Yeah, the doctors, they were, they were welcoming me as a child, almost they're like, this is what you're gonna be doing for your life, this is what I do. It's, it's like they want you to join them and become a doctor, they were even telling wow. me, when you're done with uni, come here, we'll train you. That's brilliant, uh, what a great welcome. So you're looking at this whole world of work with fresh eyes and, and obviously, I mean, both of your parents I know well and they're entrepreneurs and you know, very focused in terms of uh, understanding the business world. So you obviously have grown up with that sense of understanding of business and, yeah. and the world of work, um, but now it's you. I mean, you know, there's only you in your pair of shoes right now and you're standing there. What kind of things did you notice or experience that perhaps um, you hadn't been quite so clearly aware of before? Uh, to be honest, I, I didn't really expect working to be, as people say, almost just the average life. It's more interesting mm. being able to go and meet your friends, do your work, have a good time, go on a break. It's, it's not what people expect to be when you're just working all day long, no enjoyment. It's a lot more fun than what you'd expect. Oh, that's great. So you, you felt that sense of sociable togetherness yeah. with people, even though you're actually doing work as you're doing. That's, that's wonderful. If you could do the internships all over again, if you could repeat it, is there anything that you would have wanted to have changed, either within you or within the experiences that you had? Personally, I would have just loved to stay there for longer. Oh, great. Yeah, that's a great answer. Thank you. So based on, on this experience, it just gives a bit of a reveal now, Kevin. You, can, uh, you, you kept the secret well. So you said, look, you wanted to, um, to compare two different experiences. What did you decide about the future for you based on your internship experience? I think I want to continue and become a doctor in the future, maybe an orthopedic surgeon, because I really find it interesting and fascinating how some one person could change another person's life with a couple of like instruments in a hospital. That's fantastic. And you know, I've reached an age when knowing that we're helping to train future orthopedic surgeons, that might be really useful for me. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Is there any advice that, uh, that you would give other students as they're contemplating an internship? Uh, any tips or hints that you would give them? Just give it your all and do as much as you can because they could decide what you do in the future. That's brilliant. Well, look, congratulations, Kevin, on, on uh, completing two brilliant internships. Well done. Thank you.